Hey, orange one here. Uh, we could wait these guys out to let them surrender. And I haven't actually done that. So I'm just kind of curious how that works when they run out of food. So we're going to let like a day roll by. And if nothing happens, then we'll actually like attack this place. But we've got a pretty big group right now. So we're kind of hemorrhaging influence rather quick. I am generating a ton of it though. Like we are like the supreme leader kind of at this point. I'm just kind of curious about when this actually will run out, because it's been at zero for a while now. I feel like that's been a day, right? Do they start starving at some point, or what? Yeah, I think they're kind of starving in there now. Yeah, they're totally like dying from starvation. Cool. Well, that makes my life easy, if I wanted to. I could just run this down, and I'm actually- oh, you know why I'm getting so much influence? is I'm feeding my army. <laughs> so because I have like tons of food saved up right now, um, I'm getting influence is basically what's happening right now. And while it's happening, they're, I think, starving. Maybe not. Maybe. Yeah, they are starving. Yeah. It's kind of not that fast of a tick, though. You'd expect that to kind of tick down a little bit faster. Okay, I think we should just kind of the sake of the episode, just get attack and get done, be done with it, you know? And we have like twice their numbers. They have no walls. We have all of our siege equipment. It should be like a five minute siege, but because of the numbers, I think it might be a little bit longer. We might as well finish this series with a, a good castle, right? During. Those archers right here, they got to go. That's gonna be what kills a lot of the people that are gonna be taking the uh, the main gate, which is gonna be a very useful place for us to take. There we go. I learned this from this other YouTuber that I, I used to watch before Bamlord came out. I think his name was like Le, Leroy or LeCru or something like that. <clears throat> yeah, really good. Really, really good at this game. Really good archer, really good at like playing against people. But, you know, a number of things that he did, like this first par person arching behind cover. It really, like, ups your game. Because they can't really hit you behind the cover like this very easily. But you can usually get them pretty good. And most people, like most AI, when they're shooting, they're not behind cover because it's kind of hard to see behind cover in third person if you can actually hit someone. But here I can, like, just kind of line it up. Let it loose. Okay, but now, like, definitely gonna go. Where was that um, item? Did it disappear? Aww. I went to, like, go pick it up and it disappeared. Please don't get shot while I'm doing that. I'm good. Some dude's got some arrows sticking out of his shoulder there. Making me a little nervous. This dude right here, I thought he might die. Okay. They're not shooting at us? Like, what's the deal here? Hello. Shoot at me. I'm down here. We're not. I mean, we're definitely killing plenty of them right now. They seem to be killing a good amount of us, but, like, we have so many more than them. I just don't think we have a lot in the map. Oh, did they destroy the ram? They destroyed the ram. Alright, I think the ram may be operable, it's just there's no people pushing it. Yeah, that's what's happening. I got it. I got you, man. I'm not- no. <laughs> I don't have you, man. I'm sorry. This- yeah, as predicted, this whole area is just like Death Valley. 
But, you know, the benefit of that is that I'm gonna get some arrows. If I'm smart, I might be able to oh, not do that. Yeah, these guys have a nice little outcropping here. Sides are kind of exposed from here. That group of archers just really messes up. Uh, da -da -da -da. no arrows, nothing. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Not interested in a arrow. Where are the arrows there on the ground there, man? Why? Why do you do this to me, game? River's empty. That quiver empty? Okay, it's despawned. Doesn't matter if it's empty or not, it's gone now. Okay. I hand it to these guys, they are actually still arching us quite a bit. I'm being very effective while they're doing so. But they just they don't have the numbers. I think that's our guys right there. It looks like it. They're fighting. Yes. Okay. Cool. Well, if they're taking that up there, then we're probably gonna be able to get that ram in pretty soon. I mean, they might even just listen. By the time that we're this ram's in, the battle may be over. I'm just gonna get me an arrow. Don't mind me. There we go, there's one. Oh, these guys are gonna shoot me, aren't they? Ooh. I feel like I'm I'm playing a little dangerous here, but I don't mind because then I can speed it up. And it's, oh no, they're despawning! Put up my eyes. Get those arrows, please. Yeah, that dude's gonna take a shot. I should kill him. Yeah. Okay. Take some more shots at me, guys. Let's see what you got. Oh, falling back. Are those. Yeah, they're falling back there. Those are our guys on the left side. Still get shot through all these slits. There are still some of them defending. Oh, they've dropped boulders down on our guys. They're starting to, like, properly use the siege stuff. Oh, hello. Hello, fellas. Courtyard's taken. Good job. Okay. Yep. You guys are... ...trying to defend an area that you really can't hold. Oh jeez. Can I get any of them? No, not really. Okay, I got one there. Oh jeez. Come on. I think that may have been one of my guys, I'm not sure. Okay. Your time, six minute well, seven minute battle. If you round up. Which we should. Um Should I take them prisoner? <laughs> Nah, we're gonna let them go. I don't know why. I mean, it's it's over at this point. They can't rally enough troops to like stand against me realistically, so I think we're really fine. No matter what. I may have taken a little too many prisoners there, but we can dump some off at this castle, and I think they only have castles left. I did see Praven we took um, while sieging this down. I didn't know that we had lost Praven, but I guess there are some, still some cities that they might take from us that we're going to have to take back. We'll deal with it. Don't worry. We'll deal with it soon enough. Just got to get some of these prisoners in the castle here and hold it. You know, that, that is also a important second part of the operation is holding this place. Uh, dungeon prisoners. Anyone that I can't 
recruit, basically. Cool. You know, I feel like I've been really chilling at work, honestly, because it's not been too bad for me, because, you know, what's funny is this whole YouTube stuff has actually paid off <laughs> for me, because I'm more tech-savvy. I'm able to do things that work better during uh, distance learning. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> um, oh, I should probably tell some of these wonder people to uh, heal up. Yeah. Just uh, we'll wait here ourselves, but we'll let those guys go off and do their thing. We'll take the re we'll let the rest of the people heal up with us. Uh, what's this about that? Do I have like a perk I need to enable or no? Not... Oh, I I I got a tribute point. Okay. Jeez, I don't even know what I want. I, I feel like stewardship is what I've been investing in other times. So let's see. Yeah, let's get that up. <laughs> if I could get that, I'm just gonna have an in insane party size. I don't know. And we might be able to get that stewardship up um, because we were at the maximum basically for stewardship. I don't even know if that perk is active, so at the same time it's like, eh, whatever. I would like it if it is. It'd be super cool. It'd be really good for us. Go ahead. Um, oh man, you don't like us very much, do you, Aaron? What? Fen Giel. Let's just make him like me a little bit more. I think that we can... Uh, get Fengil to be a little bit less likely to betray us, because I just don't like that. I mean, I feel like you'd be an idiot to try and rebel from what is by far one of the greatest empires that has ever existed in all of Calradia. Let's just get him at least to neutral. Okay. And now he's my buddy. Cool. We're homies. I just, you know, gave you a ton of influence points. I don't know what that means in real life, how that equates the real world, but happy influence points. Hey, here's some troops. Good thing that we're friends. Um, yeah. It looks like this might be the last, last um, castle of theirs. Oh, it looks like it's going to get taken, too. Uh, uh, game over? <laughs> Is that it? Like, I don't, I don't know. What do we do? Do I start taking beefs from people? I mean, the other place is that one. Do I get like an end screen, like victory thing, or what? Um, I mean, I can. I, I, yeah, I'm not gonna fight that. Yay, I contributed. <laughs> Hooray. Victory. Now, I don't even know why I'm upgrading my troops, honestly. I think we've won. And we did it, what, an episode or two early? I don't know. If you wanted me to kind of mess around and break the economy, I was... I wanted to kind of play around with that, so I could do that for like the last episode or two. But I also recognize that people probably want me to play other games more. <laughs> Let's just go, we'll wait here, don't mind me. And we'll just kind of chill. Until this gets the prompt, yeah. Okay, sure. And you know what's crazy? Is that means the Sari lost their last place before the Kuzate. The Kuzate beat the Asari in this game. <laughs> Like, you know, that's it's just bonkers. It's just absolutely bonkers. I don't understand how that how that happened. Nah, we're not gonna make peace if people don't want it. I'm gonna disband my army. I think and let them just go hunt the last of them down. Yeah, see ya, sayonara. I want to get me. End game going. I don't know what to do now. Oh my gosh, we're like only 14 minutes in. Maybe I should hunt down the last of them. 
Oh wait, they, they have a castle. Okay, so there's, there's one more castle. Okay. I wonder if- is that place under siege? I'm going to do everything I can to make sure those sorry fall before the Kusate do. I'm gonna get in on some siege over here. If there's no one here sieging it, I'll, I'll start one. I uh, just need some snacks first. We gotta get some snacks for the road, guys. It's Evil Mastermind 101. Bring snacks for the for the road. You don't want to run out of snacks. You don't want to see uh, armies when they've not got their snackies. But I think we can get to there and actually like possibly get in on the action of the taking of the place. That should be a pretty good end, right? Let's just grab the last few people and we'll head over. AKA just food, really. I don't need people. Give me all of your food and I'll give you some of my, my stuff. Sure. Take that. Oh, I'm over capacity. You have some, yeah, we'll take these guys then as well. Cool. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna sell you some of this stuff. I want your money. You got lots of it. Cool. <laughs> okay. Very, very cool. We are very rich. That place has got some money. I'm telling you. This is like a totally just on our way. I'll take all that. Okay. And we'll go over to Ein Belik. I'm pretty sure that by the time we get there, someone else is going to be besieging it, but they might not be. It's just flax. There's not really any food, per se, right around here. Okay. We've got here 800 strong. Oh, they do actually have got a formidable army around here. Okay. Let's get anyone who's not completely decimated and get them on me. I'm not going to be able to siege anytime soon, but I can disrupt them and kind of hurt them through that. I'll take your cheese too, I guess. Taking their food. <laughs> They're not going to be able to stand against me and my army of like already 500, like pretty much immediately assembled. And yeah, we should be able to siege that now pretty safely. Yep. Uh, don't run. What are you doing? Running from someone? Come on. We are definitely going to win this, like, pretty quickly, too. I think it might take us a minute to siege this down. We'll siege this down, and in this episode, by the time we've sieged this down, the other place will have fallen. Like, the Kuzate, I almost feel like they're gonna fall faster because I went for this place than my AI did. Because <laughs> I, I take a while to siege places down. I could just assemble, like, a massive death death party. Yes, death party. Let's do it. Death party. Everyone within a day's range, get over here. So, probably by, within a day we're gonna need to attack because we'll be imploding due to the food shortage. Oh, did some, some family has declared war. Argaros? What? <laughs> Hold on. Is that... is that what's going on? I've got people declaring war against me. I've got like, my former uh, lords declaring war on me, I think. Maybe? Not really sure. They might be not my lords. They might be other people's uh, lords. Can I just take a second? Kingdom... Yeah, me... Who am I at war with? Argros? You don't have any place. Okay. Um, oh, are they... They're part of the Sari Empire, but they're, they themselves are declaring war. That's weird. I didn't know that that's how that worked. Whatever. We could probably attack with our numbers right now. 
I'm gonna let us get the siege equipment up and running, at the very least. I feel like that would be, at a bare minimum, what I would expect. Okay, we almost have three times their number. This is kind of insane. I should just probably attack. But we would lose so many without any siege towers or anything, so we'll build that stuff first while this is chipping away, you know? We got our ram, we got our towers. I feel like I should just attack. If it lets me though, if I can sustain this influence wise, I'm gonna get the XP. The thing is, this might be leveling up my stewardship. <laughs> right? No? Maybe not. But yeah, we have like three times their number right now. We could totally attack. We should just do it. Death waves against the castle walls. Right? We'll, we'll take out the walls. We won't take them completely out. We'll leave them up this time. We'll make for a more interesting final final battle, right? But we'll, we'll get them pretty beat up. Sound good? I don't know why I'm saying that. Sound good? Because you guys can't really stop me. Okay. Um, let's, let's go ahead and attack. It's well. Final touches for the final battle. Right. It'd be nice if it was night. I do like the night sieges a little bit more. I think those look cooler. They do have 700 people inside here, so this might take a while for us to take as well. But I think it will be about a half hour-ish episode, probably a little longer. Sieges tend to take eight-ish minutes is what has been my experience. Yeah, that was a lot of prisoners that we just recruited. Probably have a much bigger party now. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and attack it. Well, maybe, I mean, if we wait a little bit longer, it'll be night. Uh, we do have one hole in the wall, though. And is it going to be night by the time the other ones have struck? Maybe, yeah. Maybe not. Though hopefully they're taking aim at that thing. It looks like at least two of them are. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's let it go to night. And... Oh, well, there goes the wall. <laughs> Whoops. I wanted it to be night, and I didn't want to break that wall, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know why I'm going with the horseman there. Let's charge the horseman. Straight in. Right in the front. Right next to me, guys. I would like it if you could have like sieges so you could have like little horse groups. Because that is something that actually is moderately useful in a siege, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just being able to shock troop and send like a group of people around and throw some arrows at a part. Drop some explosive barrels down. Something. I don't know. You know, just the typical war stuff. And this place is I think the same layout as the other castle that we were just at. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, well, we know how this is gonna play out. These archers are gonna decimate the uh, crew. And I just need to get them. Oh, come on. I'm just like firing into this mob of dudes right here. This one. Yeah. I mean, it's not, like, a bad strategy. Seems just kind of a little bit silly for a man of my stature. <laughs> a supreme Calradian high merchant. Okay, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. Oh. Dead. And that dude's dead. Yeah, I think that I hit like a lot of times like the, around the shoulders, not the actual head. That still does pretty good damage, you know? And I'd rather get like a neck shot, honestly, because it's like almost guaranteed. 
Maybe I'll at least hit the torso. Yeah, dude, you got an arrow in your hand there. You might want to pull that out. dead. I think it is. I think they're trying to defend like the wall over there against us. It looks like. Possibly. I'm gonna see if I can get on the inside over here. Because it looks like the left side's in there. Already. And they're just killing it. Like legit killing it. Okay. Oh, are you guys running away? Don't tell me it's going that bad. Y'all seem to be in there. I guess it's going bad. <laughs> Hello! Why y'all doing this? Why are you doing this to me, guys? Can I get those arrows, please? And not get shot. Yep. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, those guys are dead. There's quite a few of those dudes down there. Are those my guys? Yeah, these appear to be like my guys. I don't know what's going on. They're like running over, out and away for some reason. Why am I like running so slow? Yeah, here we go. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, very bizarre. Okay, well, I need to get down there then. Dang it. Yeah, this is like super, like, glitcho weirded. Stuff. At least I got arrows. Okay, they seem to be charging in now. Sorry about that, that's a, that's upsetting. Maybe we didn't get to see more of the actual... Oh! I see if I get stabbed. Oh, I killed one. Oh. There we go, I got another. That over the head strike, man. I gotta say. You know, even though it's not Warband, that, it's still like the most powerful strike. You know? That still still feels the same in that regard. Oh cool, you can see like their different boards, like things on their shields. That's pretty cool how you can kind of see how it's like multi-ethnic. Um, with all the different shield signs. Hello. Yeah, whoever's in there is not gonna do well. Oh. You guys like ran up behind me there. Oh come on, overhead. There we go. <laughs> That's how you get the final kill when it gets crowded, basically. Okay, good times. Good times. I don't see anyone to shoot. Or I would. It looks like it's done to me, but there's 29 of them apparently. I wish we had some sort of way of indicating where they were. Because I just have no idea where they are. I'm pretty sure they're in here, in this tower. And it's just so crowded, people can't kill them. <laughs> That's what I'm assuming is happening, because we're getting the kills. Yeah, they're they're pretty much done. Okay. And okay. So I think that does mean that the sorry are done before the uh the Kuse. I'm I'm almost certain of it. <laughs> I again I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's just skip these things. I don't care. I just wanna see and have people see before we end, you know. 
uh disband sure you guys thank you it's been great having you now just go off and just wipe out the last of them no peace <laughs> and that's to give this to someone else and i just want to see okay go down sure yeah i need to you build up some of this influence and use it on something i don't know what but we'll use it soon enough don't you worry okay, yeah people are already giving troops here that's perfect that's exactly what we need um Okay. Tuvalis, Anugens. I don't know where Tuvalis is. Let's just see. Is that one of mine? Uh, no, that's. Wait, what? Oh. Look at that. They still have one. For now. Well, that's interesting. It looks like it's gonna be gone though. You know, let's just let this go like a couple minutes long. We can finish this here. It's like I don't think it's like worth doing the war <laughs> the next episode. If I'm gonna do anything in the next episode. It'll be like economic exploits. Yeah, that that looks like that's uh that battle is pretty much done. You guys just kill him. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> <laughs> easy. Absolutely easy. Um, I guess you're free to go. I don't know where you're gonna go. I just don't think we should be taking all these prisoners. We don't need to. Sure, whatever. I don't care. Some of them get away, then some of them get away. Oh, we're also over capacity. That's gonna be kind of a problem, though. Yeah, you guys should probably take care of that. I'm gonna go over here, though. No, okay. Alright, well, it's it's been fun, you know? I think that that's pretty much the end of the Asari people, from what I can see. As far as I can see. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just insane. Man, this dude's just... I think he's gotten two or three castles in a row. He's He's got a lot going his way right now. Um, just really quick, just so that you guys can see before we end this. Um, the Asari themselves. Yeah, they have, like, no strength at this point. Do you have any... Any land like how do you see what land is controlled yeah okay there's the, the thieves are down below that's like my thieves no no that's all of my people's okay so if i go to like who's eight yeah they've got that so that means that this dude oh unquid you lost your your last castle before the kuzates man that's gotta hurt you know, like, seriously, that's kind of crazy that I went down that way. Like, hip hip hooray for us. <laughs> now we just got to break the economy. <laughs> I got to figure out what I want to do with that. Okay, well, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.